Let's get to the next, shall we? All right, our board journey continues. We are just rocking it out. We're on episode two. Where are we at? 231, I believe. Yeah. I think 231. Okay, let's do this. Let's do it. What's going on? What's okay, there we go. Retracing the steps. Where's the pin? Where's... Ellen! Ellen, get in here now! What is it, Ryan? I've lost my pin and I can't find it. Okay. So help me find it. Okay, I mean, where was the last place you saw it? I don't know, Alan. If I knew that, I'd have the pin, wouldn't I? Okay, well, why don't we retrace your steps and see if we can't figure this out? Do this with Christy Because I haven't set up all day, Alan. So First off, I do this with Christy all the time. I don't know if you have a significant other out there that you do this with, but oh my God. And then the other person always tells you it's you and you laugh and you're like, it's not me. Where's my wallet? <laughs> There's no steps to retrace. Okay, well, why don't you reference like your calendar and figure out what you've done today and maybe that'll... <laughs> I don't <laughs> use a calendar, <laughs> Alan. It's all up here. <laughs> That's the stupidest idea I've ever heard. You're pissing me off. Okay, Ron, well, why don't we use that mind of yours and work backwards from now and figure out what you were doing. Okay. So, at 3 p.m., I was... I was facing this wall here. It's looking at the whiteness of it. It's quite white. Okay. Okay, which means then at 2 p.m. I was what? looking out the window here at the fire extinguisher. Oh yeah, there it is. Which means that at 1 p.m. <laughs> this is exactly what managers do. Everybody except Nikki. Nikki is a very busy manager, but this is mostly what managers do. I was looking up at the ceiling trying to count all the holes. And this is a shout out to Nikki because Nikki is a very busy manager because she watches multiple streams at the same time. Nikki, the manager, she managing you. She managed me, she managed everyone. She's managing three streams at the same time. She's Nikki, the manager. I'm picking my nose. At 12 p.m. I went to lunch, like I do every day, at 12 p.m. lunch. Which means that at 11 a.m., yes, I was over here, I was looking at the carpet like this. Looking at the carpet. Okay. So I thought that, then I must have been... Oh, that means that at 10 a.m. I was, that's right, I was spinning. I was spinning on the chair because I, because I was bored. Because at 9am I was drawing circles with the pen and then the pen ran out of ink so I threw it in the rubbish. Oh, where's the pen? It's scary, man. Ron, it's in the rubbish bin then, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, there's a pen. Yeah. My pen. Great, go away. Okay. Okay, great. Oh, God damn it, it's out of ink. <laughs> yes. Ah, Le that was just fucking perfect, actually. One giant build up for that punchline craziness. These are my best ever boards with Ben when he's like this uh, huge heist dude. Change scam. I think I've seen this before. Ladies and gents, I'm back. The perfect heist isn't complete. This time, I'll show you my secrets up front. See if you can keep up. <laughs> hey, man. hey man, I just want this uh, USB stick, thanks. Sure, that'll be uh, $20. Good. Little did he know, I had a change raise scam planned. He'll never see it coming. Sure thing, man. Uh, do you have change for a $100 note? Uh, yep, that should be fine. Yeah, it's, it's very hard uh, to get. Okay. Uh, 50, <laughs> 60, 70, 80. Change for 100. Perfect. But this is where it gets tricky. This is going to blow his mind. Uh, I've actually got quite a few $10. Do you mind if I change some with you? Maybe 50 bucks? 
Uh, yeah, okay, sure. Um, 50 bucks, great. One, two, three, uh, 50. And here comes the old switcheroo. <laughs> um, I don't think that quite works. That's just 40, that's not enough. Ah, oh, whoops. <laughs> okay, oh, here, I tell you what. If I give you five 20s, then you can give me that original 100 back. Okay. Look at him, trying his best to keep up. <laughs> 100? Great. Oh, no, actually, I'll give you the 100, and you give me, I don't know, 20 10s? I don't think I have that many 10s, sorry. Oh, okay, I'll just take five 50s then. And here comes the big <laughs> bucks. Okay, wait, hang on. It's confusing, I know, but the math checks out. I think I know how to make this work. Just need to get a little bit more. More money, sounds good to me. Okay, so, give me the 100, and then I'll give you three 50s, because of what we did earlier. Mm -hmm. If you give me the 20, I'll give you a 10. Okay, look, you take the 100 back for now. Perfect. I'll take your 50 for a 20, and now I can take back your 100. <laughs>It's like poker, man. It's just like poker. And give you 150 that I will then immediately swap for a 10. Your two 20s for one more 10, and the 10 for your 20, and I'll take one 10 back. And I think we're good. Does that math <laughs> check out? Yeah. I think the math checks out. Yeah. And that's it. The perfect heist. One last Best job. They won't even know they were hit. I love it. I love the heist. I think the math checks out. Yeah. I mean, I, I knew the asshole customer was scamming us from the beginning because well, he, he was he's always coming in here trying to scam us. So I purposefully ruined his chain dray scam. Like, it was pretty obvious. But because he's such an idiot, he, he didn't even notice. And, yeah, that's my story. <laughs> Okay, so let's go over our KP. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Imposter syndrome. Guys, yeah, for the business plan that I've outlined, I want each of you to contribute at least two to three different business ideas that you should have prepared over the last week. Oh, please don't ask me first. Please don't ask me first. Please don't ask me. Please. Don't ask me first. Don't ask me first. Don't ask me first. So let's start with Ellie. Shit. So I'm thinking we need to make a more concerted effort to get casual customers to make small but meaningful purchases and maybe we should put a stand at the front of the store. How does God love so much? Oh God, she's oh God, she's so smart and so beautiful. Oh my God, damn Ellie, you know so much stuff. How do you know so much stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Ellie's just putting it out there, man. That is that is 110% Ellie. She's probably a, an absolute riot to hang out with. Leaders, then it might encourage higher purchasing. So metal, so metal. That's actually a really metal. good idea, Ellie. Um, we'll circle there around to that and Ooh, go into more detail. You sold it, girl. Really you good. sold it. Oh my god, I got through that somehow. Good job. I don't know if that made sense. I am nowhere near that smart. I don't deserve this job. Okay, next up. This is it. You should just get up and walk away. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. No one will, no one will think any less of you. Just leave. Please, not me next. Please, not me next. Please, 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 please. please. Let's go with. Adam, what do you got? Ah, oh, damn it! Oh, I've got nothing. I've got nothing. I'm so useless. Okay, here we go. So our sales haven't been going as well as they used to, and I think that's because we're promoting items that people don't genuinely want. If we did some trend research into sale items, I think it's going as well. How do you think of that idea? Ah, why do you sound so smart? Why do you know so much stuff? Adam knows stuff as well. Adam's doing such a good job here. He totally deserves his job. Why can't I be like that? How does he even get these ideas? I think we could bring more customers into the door. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. That's actually some pretty good feedback. Oh, okay. I we think I got through that without people either. thinking I'm a fraud. Oh, God, don't come to me again. I have literally nothing worth saying. Oh, no, and Ron's looking over to me. Please don't say what I think you're going to say. Ellen, what do you got? Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, okay, that's fine. You're all right. Just, just open your mouth and start saying words, and hopefully something comes out. 
Well, even though we're just a tech store, people do have a brand loyalty to us that shouldn't be ignored. Uh, I think we can leverage this by having a huge competition that incentivizes customers to come to the store on a regular basis. How's Alan getting all this stuff? He's so smart and awesome. Oh, God. How did he do that? How did he do that? He's not even usually that smart. He's making him look like a dumbass. It's thereby growing our regular customer pool. Okay, that's actually a really good idea, Alan. Well, let's go over these ideas and discuss how we can implement these on a company-wide level. Oh my God, I'm so what? <laughs> what is outside exactly? What am I looking at? Is it a giant motherboard building outside? Like what, what is, I'm seeing cars going across outside. Like whatever's happening outside in the city that they live in is fucking amazing. Well, let's go over these ideas and discuss how we can implement these on a company wide level. A giant oh my God, I'm such a it? stupid idiot and everyone else is awesome. I'm so insecure. Hold it together. They don't know that you're a useless <laughs> manager. Up, okay guys, great ideas. Oh, let's um, get into oh. it. Why did he say that out loud? He said that out loud, didn't he? Company wide level. Oh my god, I'm such a stupid idiot and everyone else is awesome. I'm so <laughs> insecure. I hold this is why I love this series, man. It is so fucking stupid in the right way. When something is this stupid and so funny, it has to be good, man. Put it together. They don't know that you're a useless manager. Okay, guys, great ideas. Let's um get into it. I don't. I don't think it's a thing on the window. Is it like a print on the window? Uh, you're right. You're right. Thank you, Hugh. Hugh, you're right. God damn it, Hugh. Thank you for you, man. Hugh is an They're, they're like blinds, aren't they? Like we're looking through blinds from the backside or some giant sticker decal on the window. Hugh, you're, I'm pushing it again. Hugh is an upstanding gentleman. It's a touch -up. Of course that's what it is. He took the extra step in thinking this shit out. God damn it, Hugh. God damn it. Not only is he gentleman, he's a smart gentleman. <laughs> Daph says, he is so smart. Man, I'm not smart. How does he know so much? That's right. This is totally this skit right now. We are literally, Daft, you're literally on another level doing this sketch with members of the community. <laughs> Hold on. Shit, Daft. That's why he's a mob. That's why Daft is a mob. Upper level thinking. This is what I like here. With the DG360 crew, the mods, the people behind the scenes, next level, <laughs> next level. They are thinking on another level. We are going places. <laughs> okay, this is entitled, let's see what this skit is. Jackpot, okay. What's that? It's a card from my Nana, belated birthday present from three months ago. Oh, cute. Yep. Oh, right on cue. Got some uh, scratch tickets here. Two one dollar cash fortune. What a haul! <laughs> yeah. Do you want one? Oh, yeah. Okay. Thanks, man. Yeah. No. That'd be great. Cheers. Good luck. I can't. Li First off, no. No. Smack yourself. Smack yourself right now. Never buy scratch offs. Stop it. Stop it. My girlfriend gets these scratch offs. Oh my God, I think one time she went crazy. She went big. Like, I think two or three years ago, she got herself one of those $50 tickets. I said, what? What? I would never waste my money on this shit. My daughter's boyfriend though. Dude, this guy's got a system. I never seen somebody win so much off of scratch offs in my entire life. My daughter's boyfriend. Oh fuck, man. We have special events. My mom always loves to give scratch-offs. Oh, my God. My mom loves scratch-offs. She, she puts scratch-offs in birthday cards. She puts scratch-offs in, in, in Christmas presents, scratch-off in ho at Halloween. Man, I don't think you can do that. Can you hand out scratch-offs, kids? By the way, is this thing on? I don't <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, like, I'm like, Mom, enough with the scratch-offs, for God's sake. Stop it with the scratch-offs. Everybody around me seems to be addicted to scratch-offs. How many people in the chat do scratch-offs? Put a one in the chat. If you're watching on YouTube, I want to know if you're doing scratch-offs right now. It's time to report yourselves. It's time to it's time to push this button for everybody doing the scratch offs. Put Shame. It, okay, good. Let's go is not about Shame. that. Futz, Futz, how dare you? Shame. Futz. Well, this is going out to Futz right now. I'm talking directly to you, Futz. Hold on, where's my Futz button at? For God's sake. He's on the road. Ah. The man's a trucker, 
here, man. He's on the road. He's on our nation's highways and byways and the lifeline. He is the blood, man. He is delivering shit. He's like a white cell delivering goodness to our entire body of America. I understand what Futz is doing, and he's like, you know what? God damn you, DG. I will buy myself some scratch-offs in the downtime. If I want to scratch off in my rig, I will do the scratch-offs. Okay, God bless you. God bless you, but listen to me. Smack yourself. Smack yourself hard. Save those freedom units. You invest. You invest. <laughs> That's your scratch-off ticket. Start to invest. Empower yourself. <laughs> Daft, Daft Digit says, my dad gets them for Christmas since I was a kid. My mom's like that. My mom's like that, Daft. Uh, Retro says, I'm unemployed and therefore couldn't even afford a scratch-off if I wanted one. God damn it, Retro. God damn it. <laughs> Get out there and start stacking. Get those freedom units, young man. You're a young man. You're going to be a millionaire by the time you're 30. You get stacking. We got your back. Come on, Retro, do it. You can do it. Maddie says, I did more scratch-offs as a kid when adults would give you a couple for fun. I don't think I've ever done one as an adult. Oh, my God. There she is. There's that. Yes, sir. You're not going to hit me. Yes. <laughs> found out last night. Maddie and I both found out last night that we're Capricorns. Maddie, 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 I'm mad about you, Maddie. It just happened to be in, in Dungeons and Dragons fun time. We were talking about it during the Dungeons and Dragons fun time. So, you know, it was a public forum that we were talking in that we found about, uh, out about this. Don't think there's anything going on behind the scenes. Well, Pepe, <laughs> listen, Capricorns, practical. My point is, we know, we know not to burn our freedom units. That's what we, that's what Capricorns understand. There is something that has to do with like astrological signs. Capricorns, we understand this shit. We don't, we understand how to organize shit. We understand financial shit. We don't spend it on those scratch offs and neither should you invest in yourself. Invest in yourself. <clears throat> Daft Digit, Daft Digit's a Capricorn as well. God damn it, I knew that too. Let's hear it. Let's hear it for the goat people. <laughs> goat people unite. We have carnal desires. We have carnal desires. We're very practical, and, and we let, we let loose at parties. But we're still we're kind of introverted and extroverted. We don't know exactly, but we're very practical people. We're like the hobbits. We're like the hobbits of the astrological sign. Nothing. Oh my god. What? Okay, okay, cool, won. Maddie. Oh, great. How much? That's so terrible. I just won thirty thousand dollars. What? I just won thirty thousand dollars. <laughs> Let me see. Look. Don't do oh, that. You're dead. Oh! <laughs> dude, didn't he win? Dude, this is fucking hilarious. Because remember when he won the lottery, like on the earlier season, uh, on the earlier episodes we watched? It was, I think it was within the first 100 episodes where Adam literally won a lottery and Rowan took the ticket. And now here he is winning again. Like, Adam is super lucky. Adam is Adam is very lucky. My uh, oh my god, this is exactly how uh, uh, my daughter's boyfriend is with everything. He's got like that natural luck, like just that that stupid luck can win anything, anywhere, anytime. You never know. Like oh my god, that kind of luck, that that's crazy. That's crazy. That type of luck. I won thirty thousand dollars. Oh my yes! god, Alan, I just won thirty thousand dollars. Ah! Oh, oh, that's the best. oh, imagine all the things I could buy. All the amazing things I could buy with $30,000. Yeah. <laughs> the crazy best. thing is, I'm just in such crippling debt at the moment. That money would have really come in handy. Oh, I know. That sucks, man. Yeah. Oh, $30,000. Oh, wow. so funny to think. They were both my scratch tickets. And then, like, I gave you one, like, not a minute ago. <laughs> but I could have won everything, but... I know, right? And thank you so much for giving it to me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <my laughs> yes. Woo! Woo! This would happen to me. This would happen to me. I think this actually happened to me. I think I actually handed off a scratch ticket one time to my daughter's boyfriend and he won. It wasn't a lot. It was like 50 bucks or so. But like I've, every time I've ever done a scratch off, I think I've only won a buck or two bucks. I never won anything. Or the free entries that get you in some type of fucking contest that you never mail in for because it's a waste. Oh, shit. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Is that it? What? You're just gonna, you're just gonna keep all of it? Well, yeah, I want it. Yeah, you did, but I mean, you want it because I gave it to you. 
Yeah, and I said thank you. And I definitely wouldn't have go. given you the scratch ticket if uh -oh. I knew I was going to win such a life-changing amount of money. Yeah, uh -oh. I know, Alan, and that's why I said thank you. I tried to show my appreciation for you. I heaped gratitude on you. Did you not hear that? See, 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 money. Money, man. Got to fuck. The, the, oh, man. What is money? What is money is so many things. It's not just transactional. It's crazy. Money. Jesus, money. Well, call me crazy, but that just doesn't feel like enough. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Here we are. Uh, 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 this thing, 100. Here's 100 bucks. Oh, wow, thanks. Ungrateful much? Are you serious, Adam? I just gave you $100, Alan. I didn't have to do that. And I didn't have to give you a scratch ticket, but I did out of the kindness of my heart. I can't believe that you're being so self-censored that you wouldn't offer me at least half, Adam. Half of it? Do you think I would... <laughs> oh. Damn, Rowan came in and managed the fuck out of that. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, my God. Problem solved. Friendship's more important than money, boys. There you go. Wow. Yes, sir. You're not gonna hate me. Yes. Uh, he managed the shit out of that. Wow. Wow. Man, Rowan comes through sometimes, doesn't he? Rowan comes through. You know, like I can rag on Rowan a lot for his managing, but like sometimes he really comes through. Damn. Oh, how much did I win? Thirty thousand dollars. Sure. <laughs> I'm keeping this. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Yes, sir. You're not gonna hate me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh snap! Back in your face. All right, that was a good one. That, I've never seen that one. Okay, two thirty-five. Check out. Oh, I'm happy to serve you. Oh, Hamish. Oh, I can help you. Any sketch oh, with Hamish uh, I'm is available good. as well. Or me. I'm, I'm here. Or maybe... Uh, my checkout is open. I am free and ready I, to serve. Come on. Come on over here. I, I, I generally gravitate... If there's generally nobody at checkout anymore. It's usually all automated and you got to check out shit for yourself these days. But it's two lanes in the grocery store that are still operated by humans out of the 12. Which, by the way, why put 12... <laughs> Can I get an amen for this? Why are you putting 12 checkout lanes there at a grocery store? At any given grocery store, you got 12 checkout lanes that, that can be manned by human beings and only put two at any given point in time at the 12 checkouts. Just bo why bother? Why don't, don't fake it. Don't fake it anymore. Just put the two checkout lines with two human beings. Nobody wants 12 checkout lines that are empty and vacant, reminding us of the past. Thank you. Yes, sir. You're not going to hate me. Right, stunner. Man, we know we're fucked. We know we're doing the work for you, corporation. We know. We know what you did. We know how you cut costs by making us do the work and like bumping everything up and gouging the shit out of us and inflation and blah, blah, blah. We know that, but can you not put the 12 checkout lanes in front of our face? And pretend like we're like in 1995, because we are not. Just put two checkout lanes with two human beings and make everything else fucking automated that we can't fucking stand and do the work for you. Just don't lie to us anymore. Don't lie to us anymore. I am more than happy to help, sir. Sure. Yeah, I used to think it was for busy times too, like Christmas, but they don't even use them for then, for no, for not even for holidays or Thanksgiving, for God's sake. Stunner. Oh, damn it, Stunner. You're on the day. Push stunner button like 15 times a day. Stunner's making a lot of sense today. Matt House says, have not grocery shopped in ages. Just have it delivered to me at work to take home. God damn it. You're living the good life. You're living the good life. God damn it, Matt Style. Can we push his button? Matt Style's living the good life. Jesus. 
Nikki, that's that's the that's the shame of it all, right? You understand that what you just said as a manager. Nikki says, "Why go to a checkout with a cashier when she can do a better job? They made it that way, and they tricked you and fooled you to make you believe that you were the best checkout person possible. But back in the day in '95, Nikki, don't you remember there was Nikki's from aisle one to aisle twelve? Oh my God, can I get an amen? Every fucking checkout had a Nikki in it that was the superior fucking checkout woman. Yes, sir. Get an amen." Man. Check out on all 12 lanes. Every single one of them were Nikki's. Maybe, okay, there was one or two lanes that didn't have a Nikki, okay? But mostly all the lanes were all manned with human beings, and all of them were Nikki. And now Nikki's like, hey, fuck it. None of them are good anyway, so I'm going to do it. And it's a shame what happened. It's a shame that they made us believe it this way. God damn it, Nikki, you're a manager. You understand what I'm saying? Nikki, the manager, she's managing you. She's managing me, she's managing everyone. She's managing three streams at the same time. She's Nikki, the manager. God damn it. All this about checkouts. All this about checkouts. I'm just a React channel. I'm just, there's no enhancements going on here. There's no enhancements. Listen, when I go to a checkout back in the day, when there was plenty of people that were working the checkouts, I generally gravitated to a, like a female that had a nice attitude. That's like, I would go to Ellie. Like in this situation, I would go to Ellie. You must choose. Uh-oh. But choose wisely, for the true till operator no, will give you your sad. products in a timely fashion. That's now stop it, stop it, you cavemen! <laughs> I obviously went after their intellect and their humor. If they could hold a conversation, because it's all in the brain. It's all in the brain. The brain's a sexy spot. The brain is the G spot. Whereas the false operator will waste your time staring into the pits of eternity. Oh shit. You must believe me. I am the only one worthy. You know the truth, sir. I am the one. Don't be mistaken by their foolery. I am the one you want. I'm surrounded by liars. If you want to be served, make the right choice. Look into the truth of your heart, sir. You know which choice to make. Come here now. You must believe me. The fate of the world depends on it. The nine-eyed spider dangles over danger. I promise to look after you. Come on over here. Trust me. Three till operators alike in dignity, efficiency, or incompetence. Make a choice. <laughs> Nikki, Nikki, did you just say what I think he said, Nikki? Nikki said, or a large rack, my problem. And then she says, why everyone came to me. Oh my God, Nikki, it's getting hot in here. What are you doing? <laughs> Nikki, the manager, she's managing you. She's managing me, she's managing everyone. She's managing three streams at the same time. She's Nikki, the manager. Whew, I gotta manage my, my temperature. Whew, shit. What is she doing? And you'll see. Make a choice, sir. 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 Run! Run, Hamish, run! Make a choice, sir. Make a choice, sir. Make a choice, sir. Hello, how's it going? This is a nice... Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I've got butterfingers today. I'm all flubbly. You chose... Paulie. Oh no. <laughs> oh. No. <laughs> what is the punishment? What is the price on this? Oh, um, so I'm gonna see if I can find it in the system. Right. <laughs> um, oh, oh, it's no. not in the system. It's not in oh, the I hate that. Oh no, it's not in the system. Oh no. Oh. Boo! 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 Oh. System. <laughs> And I just can't wrap my head around it. I think I'm gonna have to go out back and find the price for this. I'm sorry, sir. This is gonna take quite a long time. Sorry. 
Sorry, sorry. I've done that. I've left. Fingers is right. Drop, turn, and exit. I, I've literally left. Like when, when shit like that goes down, I'm like, peace out. I get it on Amazon. I don't even know why I'm doing what I used to do in the '90s. <laughs> you know, like I'm just fuck this shit. Fuck it. <laughs> Quick crown. All right. I think this, I think we'll stop here. It has been five episodes that we watched, which by the way, is very respectable. I would like to applaud everybody that watched the five with us. Everybody live. Everybody live watching our board journey where we watch every single episode of board. We are almost there. I think we're about like 60% of the way, 70% of the way of being finished. And that'll be like epic will be the first where we basically reacted to the entire board series. And, and like, that is fucking awesome. This journey that we are in. Thank you. If you're on YouTube, definitely like and share because the channel is shadow banned and copywritten strike twice. And DG 360s YouTube platform is literally dying and being choked out as we speak. So anybody that can like or share would be highly appreciative of that so that the YouTube corporate algorithm can completely crush us even after we've done that. Thank you. This has been a hopeless message from your leader, DG.